Small businesses are what turn a town into a community. They're invested here, and so are we. We're Spectrum Business, your local business internet, TV, phone, and mobile provider. You've seen us around. We live and work here, too. So when it comes to keeping small businesses connected, our network is the backbone they can count on. We're committed to this community and the small businesses that keep it going. We're Spectrum Business. I am blind, but I need not see. I know this road is there for me. If you smoked, get scanned. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. time. For the first time, the prestigious McDonald's All-American Games are here in Houston, and fans are ready to get a glimpse of the next generation. Led by Juju Watkins, the top-ranked player in the nation, signed with USC. Also, Michaela Williams, the Morgan Wooten National Player of the Year, a future LSU Tiger. Tonight is their introduction to the nation. As we continue to see the meteoric rise of the women's game, a catalyst for many young stars for over 20 years has been the McDonald's All-American Game, where greatness is foreshadowed, hard work rewarded, and dreams realized. Tonight, another talented cast of players will be showcasing their skills on high school basketball's biggest stage. And we welcome you to the 2023 McDonald's All-American Girls Game. From Toyota Center, home of the Houston Rockets, 12 from the East meeting 12 from the West. This is the pinnacle of high school basketball. And hi there and welcome courtside, along with Brooke Weisbrode, I'm Ted Emmerich. Brooke, you think of the greats of the women's game over the last 20 years, whether it's Candace Parker, Maya Moore, Brianna Stewart, so on and so forth. Their journey started here. It does, and you're talking about the best players in the country, and these young ladies have come to prove themselves but get to compete against players that they hear about, they see about on Instagram all over the country. And there is no player bigger in the game this year than Juju Watkins, a player who can take over the game, a big guard at six foot. She can shoot, she can pass, she can rebound. I'm telling you, Ted, she can literally take over a game and is next level. Trying to compare her game to somebody at the next level, it's hard. She's a player who breaks the mold. And then Jaden Donovan on the East, watch out for her, headed to Duke. A multi-level talent and a great interior player. Big time rebounder, leaper, finisher. The Duke Blue Devils getting Jaden Donovan is a huge get. Now, Watkins at six feet, Brooke. Donovan, also six feet tall representing the modern game. That's Those right. big guards, big wings, and they are so versatile. It's the year of the big guard in the women's game. And I, you know, you love to see it because the game is becoming positionless. And so players who were six foot, six two, maybe five, 10 years ago would never step outside the paint. Now you got them facing up shooting threes as you take a look at the East starters. Hannah Hidalgo and Emma Risch will team up at Notre Dame starting next year. They are in the starting lineup for the East here tonight in Houston. As for the West, Juju Watkins leading the way along with Tessa Johnson right there headed to South Carolina. Of course, undefeated back in the Final Four this season. The Final Four will be played just up the road. I-45 in Dallas. So the East and the White, the West in the Black, and off we go. The 20th McDonald's All-American Girls game first played in 2002 at Madison Square Garden. Of course, missed a couple of years because of the pandemic, and the West turns it over to start things off. Anna Hidalgo speeding ahead in transition. Donovan misses the jumper out of bounds, heading the other way to the West. And we check out the rest of the team for the East. Talia Scott can fill it up. She averaged 38 points a game for her high school in Florida this year. Just a multi-level talent all across the, the country. As you see, Jada Williams, another star player in this class here, headed to Arizona. 
Mikayla Williams, the player of the year, going to LSU. Boy, they're getting a couple of good gets. When you take a look at some of the others, you'll get to know by the end of the night. Part of that number one recruiting class going to play for Kim Mulkey at LSU, Michaela Williams, and Aliyah Del Rosario in this game here tonight. There's the look. And Jaden Donovan slashing in, drawing a foul. Donovan is Duke's highest ranked recruit, Brooke, in Kara Lawson's three years at the helm. Yeah, Duke has done an incredible job this year in the ACC of, of becoming the defensive beast. And when I tell you Duke's defense is for real, it's scary for real. And Jaden Donovan gonna fit in well, coming from a program like Sidwell Friends, one of the top high school programs in the country. As you can see, the number three player who likes to paint and build Legos. Building Legos scares me. It sounds like a lot of time and patience that your girl doesn't have. Painting and <laughs> Legos, a lot of creativity oh, there. Yeah. That's how Donovan plays on the floor. K.K. Arnold headed to UConn, draws a foul at the other end for the West. Arnold from Germantown, Wisconsin, the number two ranked point guard in this class. She was actually teed up in the scrimmage two days ago. I can't say I'm mad about that. A little fire, a little passion to start the day. It's all right, competitiveness, that's exactly what you want to see. Arnold says that she is compared so often to Arike Agunbowale, also a great player from Wisconsin. We remember her heroics at Notre Dame, now a star in the WNBA. Arnold, more than 2,300 points in her high school career. In 5'9", and so she'll have to really you know, body up at that point guard position. Certainly heading to a phenomenal university in UConn. Hidalgo had it stripped by Arnold, but it'll stay at this end of the floor. Plenty of firepower in the backcourt for the East. Emma Risch, a sharpshooter. It's a swish for Risch. At the other end, Juju Watkins misses the jumper, and it's cleared by Del Rosario, head of Del SU. I'll tell you what, immediately, Del Rosario has made a nice assist and a great look and rebound there. I know Kim Malky's got to be excited to get that talent and that height. Here is Hidalgo, has been a standout all week, misses the three, and Watkins, you see the skill in transition. Tessa Johnson lines it up. Hidalgo guarded oh, by Johnson, oh. and a hard spill for Hidalgo. Goodness. We heard knew. that thud. We sure did. And great to see her pop up so quickly. And I think we expected a track meet, certainly a physical game based on the scrimmage the other day. And these ladies, they don't want to shoot just threes now. They want to get inside that paint, prove themselves. Wow, that is a hard fall. Got met by Madison Booker, future Texas Longhorn there in the lane. And Hidalgo is at the line. Well, Notre Dame's going to be well-stocked at point guard. Olivia Miles, the All-American, when she comes back from her injury next yes. year, and now Hidalgo joining the fold. Oh, what an incredible mentor to, to learn from. And Olivia Miles, and of course, head coach Neil Ivey, one of the all-time great, great point guards in the women's game. Arnold slicing past Hidalgo for the bucket. So Arnold has all four for the West. And I like this matchup right here. Hidalgo, KK Arnold. Well, UConn, Notre Dame, gotta love a good rivalry. The top two point guards in the country, according to the ESPN 100. Watkins steps in front for the West. The number one player overall in the nation missed the layup. Rish inside the arc this time. Watkins got a piece of it and a foul inside. A good sportsmanship by Del Rosario to give her a hand up. K.K. Arnold, in and out, has the great ball handling skills, and they finish. Love how she kept her eyes up. You got to bring it through the paint strong, and then lay it up soft. The East actually won the scrimmage on Sunday as Booker 
finds nothing but air. Tight game, 40 to 36. And you're right, you touched on it, Brooke. It was so competitive. You think scrimmage, ah, oh, you know, let's put some shots up. No, these players care every time they step on the floor. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is, it is, yeah, it's a great, fun event, but also you want to prove yourself, right? You come here as a McDonald's All-American, one of the best in your state, high school, great. But these are the ladies you're going to be playing against at the next level. You want to set that tone. Donovan rips it away. But the West controls. Yeah, no easy bucket's going to come in this one, Ted. Booker from long bang, range. Bang. It's a two foot on the line for Madison Booker from Ridgeland, Mississippi, headed to Texas. 19 points a game, six foot one again. That's all versatile game. A, a theme in this class for sure. Donovan again working inside. And cleared by Booker. Booker says that Vic Schaefer has been recruiting her since she was in the eighth grade, <laughs> back when Schaefer was still at Mississippi State. And so you know she's going to be in great shape because I remember talking to Rakia Jackson here a few years ago, who at that time was headed to play for Vic Schaefer. And I said, what are you most excited about? What do you like about that? She said, I just can't wait. I love to be in shape, be fit. And so the tradition continues. Del Rosario blocked by Brea Cunningham. Riley uh, Nelson trying to follow. Out of bounds off the West. You see Kathy Richie Walton, the coach for the East. Nearly 500 wins in five state championships in her 23 years at Southwest Decatur High School in Decatur, Georgia. You have future stars on the court and stars on the sideline from the high school game as well. For to shoot here for the East. Rich looking for wow. Del Rosario. Nice pass, and it goes for Aaliyah Del Rosario. Great look inside by Rich. He's also a decent golfer. I'd be interested to kind of see that swing. I'd like to see a video on that, perhaps. And Rich with a great look. That was accurate placement, hole in one pass. Del Rosario takes it away from Sahara Williams, the future Oklahoma Sooner. Tie up, and the ball belongs to the East. And here goes Emma Rich. 25 points a game, seven boards. Five assists this is going to look good for Notre Dame next year. Such a good passing team when you think about Olivia Miles, Sonia Citron, and, and the ability of the Irish to create those assists. Man, it's going to be exciting to watch these two work together next year. The doggo turns the corner, and Donovan couldn't hit. Well, I like the fact that Donovan's taking these shots as Juju Watkins is going to show us some skill. And Dalgo takes it away for the East. Feeds her future teammate at Notre Dame, Rich. Well, how about the pride in the defense, Tad, early on? And Riley Nelson hangs and hits. Nelson won the knockout competition on the girls' side last night. And Nelson's headed to Maryland. Yeah, if you don't know what knockout is, you got to be able to hit your shot before the person behind you does it. And it is a pressure-packed game. You do it in camp and you got pressure, let alone a gym full of people. Top-ranked player in the country going to work here. Juju Watkins, seven to shoot. Booker off the mark. Couldn't hit this time from the outside. You see how quick and, and athletic and fast Jane Donovan got that rebound? Not only could she get it, she could lead the charge, run that fast break, and finish or dish it off. Just a lot of different weapons for her. Hidalgo finds Donovan on the pick and roll. Blocked by Watkins and a foul call. And we've got a timeout here in the 20th McDonald's All-American Girls game from Houston. How about Riley Nelson? How about give me a strong drive and a finish? Head up. Great start in this one. These guys will make a little history to find themselves in a final. No, 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 no. When you have Spectrum Mobile, your mobile and Wi-Fi combine to give you a seamless connection. So you can enjoy a reliable experience in and out of the home.
Get one line of unlimited for $29.99 and your next line free with Spectrum Mobile. The 2023 McDonald's All-American Girls Game is presented by the McDonald's All-American Games, where hype becomes legacy. See all the fantastic players that have played in this game. They have donned the golden arches. We've got the next wave here tonight in Houston. The East up 9-6 to six over the West. And at the line for the East, Jaden Donovan, the future Duke Blue Devil, the number three player in the ESPN 100. So another big high school event comes your way on the ESPN Network starting Thursday, the 14th annual Geico Nationals, beginning with the boys' quarterfinals Thursday at noon Eastern on ESPNU. We'll have seven boys' games total, and the girls get started on Friday with the semifinals championships on Saturday. The girls on ESPN2, the boys on ESPN. Such a cool event to be named the best high school team in the country. The event has just grown every year. How about that pass? Wow, oh, Jada Williams Donovan. ahead to Amanda Muse and Donovan says, uh-uh. Yeah, that's what you're getting, Duke Blue Devil fans. Jaden Donovan, great timing, just understands the game of basketball. Wow, how about that pass, though? You know, Houston, the Texans are looking for a quarterback. <laughs> I mean, they've been looking for a while now, last few years. Well, what about the Arizona Wildcats, are yeah. they? <laughs> you, might, Fair. you might have got a dual sport <laughs> athlete right there. Well, it ended up being a foul, and so Muse, who's headed to UCLA, is at the line for the West. Amanda Muse also played water polo all four years of high school. We talked to her yesterday, Brooke. She got so strong in the water, and it helped her passing and her timing as a shot blocker. I mean, talk about cross-training, right? You, you know, you get in the water, so it's a little easier on your joints, and then you get used to being... There's no fouls in water polo. So you're going to get clawed, you're going to yep. get pulled on. So imagine there is no amount of contact that is going to bother Amanda Muse. Michaela Williams on the board for the West. The Morgan Wooten National Player of the Year coming off the bench tonight for the West. Going to get a, a, a nice preview of what you're going to see at LSU next year. A terrific game. Could just pull up. Looks like she floats. Makes it look so effortless. And the part I love about Michaela Williams learning about her this week, she said she committed to softball in eighth grade before deciding to focus straight on basketball. Separates the defense. Look at that, playing off two feet, little pump fake. It is the little things that college coaches sometimes look for. Can you make the right pass, the right read at the right time? Yeah, committed to Louisiana, formerly known as Louisiana Lafayette for softball was Williams as Ashlyn Shade knifes in for two for the East. And then in high school, Williams decided to focus on basketball. Okay, Jada, okay, Jada! Williams putting on a show like Ooh. she does on social media and she <laughs> couldn't hit the three. Oh, there's more coming though, that's not it. Will you? And Ashlyn Shade at the other end with the jumper. Back-to-back -back buckets for Shade. Oh, Shade will clean it up, headed to UConn as well. The Husky, oh, the spin move with the pass, give it to me! And Amanda Muse with the finish and one, set up by Kamora Johnson, who's headed to Virginia. Kamora Johnson, the 5'8 PG, the spin cycle, almost a behind-the-back pass. Ooh, the timing of Muse to step right in the pocket, too. After the help side defense, and the block comes too late. And we just told you, there's no amount of contact going to bother Muse. Remember, Kamora Johnson won the three-point shootout last night. Now with the dish. Malaysia Full Wiley headed to South Carolina, off the mark from three. And here comes Michaela Williams. Williams headed to LSU. Number two player in the nation, and all that close to a chance at three the hard way. All right, envision, if you will, Michaela Williams, Flage Johnson, Angel Reese, all in the lineup together. Who are you gonna guard? How all you, McDonald's All-Americans. What are you gonna do? You don't have enough players to guard them. Mm -hmm. Put eight on the floor. But these and Aaliyah Del Rosario oh, as well. no doubt. <laughs> So Williams at the line. Let's check out the top 10 in the class of 2023. 
We've seen Juju Watkins. Here's Williams at the line. Such a versatile group here yeah. at the top. Yep, and you got a lot of, you know, big time conferences out there. SEC, ACC, Big Ten, Pac-12, well represented. Bo Wiley had it stripped by Williams out of bounds. Still East Ball. I believe I counted eight SEC McDonald's All-Americans. The SEC so strong this year, sending two teams to the Final Four, as predicted by Kim Mulkey herself. Now, you were with Kim in Greenville. Yes, with the Blazer, you, you, the uh, Blazer. You inspired her for the uh, Feather Blazer from the Sweet 16, right? Well, Carolyn Peck said it best. Yeah. She stole it from her. Yeah. <laughs> Jada Williams feeding it to Addie Brown, blocked out of bounds. Addie Brown from Derby, Kansas, headed to Iowa State. I yeah, just really loved the system at Iowa State. And she said, the way I play is versatile. Just wanted to be a part of that sisterhood there at Iowa State and be able to play in that you know, freedom and shoot a lot of threes now. You're going to play at Iowa State, you're going to take some threes. Okay! Oh, Michaela Williams oh. now with six points. That's like saucy. You got to go through the drive through McDonald's. Give me some extra sauce. It ain't enough. Courtney Ogden. Future Stanford Cardinal out of bounds to the west. Let's go back to watch this Michaela Williams drive. Off the fumbled pass, no problem. Spin cycle, thank you very much. High finish, she makes it look too easy. Great catch. Brown the kick, open look for Sophia Bell headed to Oregon. And here comes Ogden. Had it knocked out of her hands by Kamora Johnson. And a foul at midcourt. Looks like it'll be on Ogden. Boy, this game never disappoints, does it? You're always going to be a witness to something that just is draw, draw, dropping. A highlight, a pass, some type of move. As you see, Michaela Williams, the Louisiana Player of the Year. Williams says that she feels like she is a mismatch anytime she steps on the floor. Either the defender is too slow or too small. Now we need we need a hand signal for too slow. We know what too small That's looks right. like. That's right. You, you put your hand down yeah. close to the court, right? Too small. Too slow maybe is like you go a slow motion circle. Yep. Something like that. I'm ready for some new yeah. Smack talking body language moments, however you want to say that. Remember Caitlin Clark in the Elite Eight against oh, Haley yeah. Van Lith, the John Cena, you can't see me, <laughs> waving the hand, right? Well, we've seen Caitlin Clark do a bunch of things, including you can't guard me. Yep. You're you're down by 15, be quiet. I mean, the, the smack talking in the women's game has reached next level. Of course, Clark didn't get a chance to play in the McDonald's game because of the start of the pandemic as Layla Reynolds, yeah. future Florida Gator hits. Clark, a McDonald's All-American three years ago. Williams, oh, it's a rainbow! Bang, bang. Jada Williams, more than a million followers on social media. Check it out. Turned around and said, there you go. I just love her energy. She is going to inspire her teammates to play harder, to play with joy, play some defense and intensity. Jada Williams at 5'8", the PG, headed to Arizona. This is going to be exciting to watch her play in the Pac-12 off the ball screen. Yeah, you give her space, she's going to knock it down. Coach Barnes is smiling at that one. We talked to Jada yesterday, just a vibrant personality. Ooh, Addie Brown Ooh, finds Michaela Williams in the corner. Good pass by Addie Brown. That's what she's talking about with her versatility, right? You want to put that on full display. Final seconds of the quarter, Shade lost it. Williams digs it out, taken back by the East. Essence Cody at the buzzer. <laughs> Cody headed to Alabama right before the horn. Well, Essence Cody, cool, calm, and collected. That's the vibe I got from her yesterday when we were talking to her. Headed to University of Alabama. She's an Aaliyah Boston fan. Well, you're gonna get to play, perhaps against Boston at the next level, but first you gotta do some business here. Millions of small business owners choose Spectrum Business to stay connected with reliable internet and phone. My experience with Spectrum Business has been amazing. Spectrum Business is the way we went, and we're so happy. I cannot live without it. <laughs>
Call 844-982-0111 and get Spectrum Business Internet and Spectrum Business Connect. Get both to get a free mobile line for one year. Spectrum Business provides fast, reliable internet, innovative communication tools, and mobile service that works for the way you do business. From online sales to live streaming, taking mobile orders to meeting customers face-to-face -face from anywhere in the world. Call today and get 300 megabits per second business internet for $49.99 a month and Spectrum Business Connect for $19.99 a month and get a free mobile line for one year. No contracts, no surprise fees, no nonsense, just business. That's Spectrum Business. Call 844-982-0111. Call today. All right, after the girls game, we have the 46th annual McDonald's All-American Boys game from right here in Houston, 9 Eastern on ESPN. 24 of the best high school boys basketball players in the nation. Brooke, it's the legacy game. Yes, we know about Bronny, but also DJ Wagner, the first third generation McDonald's All-American. Unbelievable. Wagner, Stoyakovic, James, all names that we've heard for a very long time in the NBA. It's so exciting to see their sons have that same success. A chance at three for Brea Cunningham, who, like Jada Williams, her high school teammate in San Diego, is headed to Arizona. Good entry pass, both to the wing and inside. And how about the positioning? It's all about the work that you do before you get that ball. And as a post player that I've never been, I can admire the footwork and the, and the talent that it takes to get yourself wide enough to say, hey, guard, throw it to me. Make it easy. What did they list you on the roster at Coastal Carolina? You talking about height? Yeah. Well, if it was up to me, I'd have said 5'9". <laughs> now, 5'7 is probably a little more accurate, but... Uh, like all, Hannah all Hidalgo just right. hit that shot for the East. All of us guards want to just be a couple inches tall. Yeah, come on. Just come give on. me get one on. more. Give me one more. Put the shoes on, maybe. West up by three. Sahara Williams in and out. Another big board for Del Rosario. Her timing is so excellent. Can read that at the height of her ability to jump. Hidalgo, swish. Right. Oh, and Hidalgo yes. is jawing yes. up the floor. She's got five. Keep that energy throughout the same game. Juju. KK Arnold oh, going right me. back okay. at Hidalgo. Sahara Williams cleans it up. You know, Williams told us yesterday she feels like she is one of the most versatile players in the class. And you have to be. In today's game, you know, you don't have to be an expert at everything. Here's Watkins. Juju Watkins off the steal and fouled by Hidalgo, who was not going to allow Watkins to come up with the easy two. Juju Watkins is a player who has takeover ability. Quick hands, you're going to cross over in front of her. She's going to take those cookies. And trying to finish there. Good recovery defense, but the foul. Now, Juju, a classmate of Bronny James at Sierra Canyon School, just outside of Los Angeles. Both have played in front of enormous crowds throughout their high school careers, and they've handled it so well. It, and it, I can only imagine in today's world the amount of attention, of hype that you have to understand how to play through, right? Yes, there's one thing to get hype and attention and all that's great, but if you can't produce out here on the floor, none of that means every, anything. And I think Juju Watkins being 15 minutes growing up from USC, loves her. Some Caitlin Clark said that she's silent and then there's nothing else to it. She's able to speak volumes with her game. And love to the story that she told us about just being frustrated growing up, sitting on the bench, felt like at 10 years old, traveling for AAU ball, she was wasting her time, her parents' time, so she went to them, right, Ted, and said, hey, I've had enough of this. Train me so I can get better, and here she is, number one player in the class. Yeah, Charlotte Gibson wrote a terrific story on ESPN.com yes. chronicling Juju Watkins' rise to the number one player in the nation. She's on the bench now, and I don't think she's happy about that. Riley Nelson off target. Offensive rebound by Donovan, though. You, you are not a competitor if you're okay with sitting on the bench. I know Juju Watkins is a player who, she's going to let the game come to her, but at some point in time, and I've seen this, I've witnessed it, complete takeover ability. I saw her get in a game this year where she sprained both of her ankles, finished with a 30-piece and got her team to win after a red-eye flight from L.A. all the way to the East Coast. 
Essence Cody is fouled. And again, everyone is going to get a chance to shine. Uh, Joe Wooten, the chairman of the McDonald's All-American Games, told me beforehand, we try to get every player about 12 minutes of game action. So yeah, Juju Watkins wants to be out there for every minute, but hey, everyone's got to be out there at some point. Yeah, it's tough because you're, you're used to playing so many minutes and being able to work through some of those kinks in your game. Not here. And you're doing it against the, the 23 other best players across the country. Well, just like that, Juju Watkins is back on the floor for the West. Karen Weitz is her coach this week, coaching both the girls and boys varsity teams at Centennial High School in Las Vegas. She led the girls to their eighth consecutive state championship and the boys to their first playoff appearance in a while. And it was great to hear the girls understand how tough practices were going to be. I don't know if they knew what they were in for, but as soon as Coach White got out there, they knew it was time to run. Out of bounds. Intensity out here. Yeah, you see it. Scratching, clawing, every loose ball. Karen White, after something that she didn't like in the first practice Saturday night, said, head to the line. We're running right now. Oh, boy. That's Can serious. you imagine? At the McDonald's <laughs> game. At an all-star game, you got to run? <laughs> it's not what I signed up for. You know what, though? I'll bet you that that intrigued every player on that roster to say, okay, we got to step it up. Yep. Dalgo. Oh, oh Donovan blocked by Watkins, two of the top three players in the nation. Nice pass, Jaden Donovan. Two hit Dalgo for the bucket. And we're tied at 26. You know, it's cool the friendships that are made in these games because you're going to see the same players in conference, right? You're going to battle and you're going to have a healthy respect. Mm. Foul at midcourt. As Talia Scott ran into KK Arnold. Does this game mean something? Is it just an all-star game? Nah, this is everything. These players came to compete, came to prove their name. Get that win for their team. We love to see it. You know, on paper, you look at some of the numbers in the rankings and you think, oh, the West stands out, no doubt about it. But then you got the East there. So competitive. Notre Dame, Duke signees. They want to make sure they leave their own legacy here. Madison Booker, the steal, too strong, but Sahara Williams is there for the follow. All right, Sahara, I see you're at Tip Horse game. Great elevation and read off the bounce. Those offensive rebounds always coming at a premium. Oh, Talia Scott getting past the defense. Cody couldn't finish. Watkins was there defensively along with Tessa Johnson. Johnson, the pull-up. Booker got it back. Watkins following her own miss. She's fouled. You think of the USC legends who grew up in L.A. and decided to stay home like Juju Watkins is going to do, whether it's Cheryl Miller, Lisa Leslie, Cynthia Cooper, Tina Thompson, Juju Watkins says she wants to be in that rarefied air. Yeah, I th you know, she's she's right there, and that's been her game, and, and understands that she's comfortable out there. And also, she said about Coach Lindsay, Got Lindsay Gottlieb, Lindsay's my dog. So how could you not having that kind of personal relationship? And it was cool to talk to her and say, hey, what do you want to improve on? Where do you want to get better? And she said, I want to be able to improve my post work on smaller guards. And as that six-foot guard, she can back you down, finish. As you see, getting into her rhythm. What I do like is that she's not shown any sign of bad body language, not being able to hit a shot here so far, but got one at the line. Brooke, you're my dog. Thanks, Tay. You're my dog, too, boy. <laughs> Come on. Oh, <laughs> nice finish by Malaysia Full Wiley. She wanted the whistle in the and one. She'll take the two. And KK Arnold fouled as Full Wiley tried to reach in. Malaysia Full Wiley headed to South Carolina off the tough drive. Well, you think about the great guards at South Carolina, and she is going to fit in so, so well there. So competitive. Now, Full Wiley from Columbia, yeah. South Carolina, Hometown. staying home, much like Ashlyn Watkins and Talasia Cooper did last year, who were in this game. Yep, just, just adding more Gamecock fan. 
Tom Staley and her staff have done such a good job of building that community there, building the base and the fans. I mean, it came from few fans to si sell out nearly every game. And Full Wiley's gonna fit in there. You know, we talk about Zaya Cook and her speed. Full Wiley reminds you a little bit of her game. Three-point lead for the West. Six minutes to go in the half. Arnold trying to thread the needle. It's stolen by Emma Risch, who's headed to Notre Dame. Oh, this is from deep. Oh! Riley Nelson couldn't get it to go, but how about Full Wiley? <laughs> and did it like she just does it every day in the backyard. Made it look too easy. Oh. Watkins at the other end drills the triple. Now, now we ready, Ted. Here we go. Talia Scott, future Arkansas Razorback. Launching. And out of bounds to the west. The McDonald's game is never complete without some highlight factories happening. And Michaela Wiley, the timing, the vertical leap, and just a little punch <laughs> with a little flair. She has at least one of those plays every single game. You, you just look at her highlights from Keenan High School. It's ridiculous what Malaysia Full Wiley is capable of. And at a small frame as well, she just shows you that you know, at 5'8", she's got the speed, the strength. Man, just so excited and to play with all the SC signees. You think about the next level of class at Emmy, 20, the 2019 class at South Carolina, Aaliyah Boston, to lead them into a Final Four again. I mean, this could be a perfect season for the Gamecocks. How epic is that? We look back at a UConn before, but South Carolina setting the tone in the SEC and being that team to beat now. Brie Beal, of course, a McDonald's All-American herself, part of that same class. And I can't wait. I just hope that Brie Beal and Caitlin Clark line it up, defend each other, and see how that goes. It is going to be an epic Final Four. Come Cannot on. Can't wait for Friday night in Ooh. Dallas on ESPN. Scott is fouled. Sophia Bell picks up the personal for the West. Full Wiley against Jada Williams. Boy, they went at it in the scrimmage a couple of days ago. Gives it up to Riley Nelson. Deflected by Muse and stolen by Bell. Williams caught up to it. Muse offensive board. And Addie Brown keeps it alive. Michaela Williams, the Morgan Wooten National Player of the Year. And Riley Nelson with the rebound. Here comes Scott, a super scorer headed to Arkansas. Oh, out of control, a steal. Sophia Bell ahead of the pack. Sophia Bell. Great job by Sophia Bell, headed to the University of Oregon. Another big guard at six feet. 19 points a game, four boards. Great defense by Jada Williams to poke that one out. Michaela Williams ahead to Addie Brown. Couldn't finish. Got it back, though. And the friendly bounce for Addie Brown, the player of the year in the state of Kansas this season. The West has built a double-digit lead. Timeout East. Now, Juju Watkins is the number one player in the nation. Watkins from Los Angeles. She'll stay home, play for USC, fight on. Indeed. Dave and Nicole use Verizon for their mobile service. Kevin and Ashley have Spectrum Mobile. Both couples have two lines and both get unlimited data and nationwide 5G. What's the difference? With Verizon, Dave and Nicole pay a lot more. It's too much. Way too much. Plus taxes. And fees. With Spectrum, Kevin and Ashley get one unlimited mobile line for $29.99 and their next line free. All with no added taxes and no hidden fees. Start saving today. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash unbeatable. A Spectrum store or call 844-805-2929 today. 
Kevin and Ashley are saving hundreds of dollars. It's, it's true. true. And with Spectrum Mobile, they get reliable coast-to-coast -coast service with the speed they need to stream and connect in more places. So Dave and Nicole, what do you think? We're, We're switching, switching to, to Spectrum. Spectrum. Switch to Spectrum Mobile and get one unlimited line for $29.99 and get your next line free. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash unbeatable, a Spectrum store, or call 844-805-2929 today. Well, ESPN is the home of the Women's Final Four in Dallas Friday night. LSU Virginia Tech, Iowa, South Carolina, 7 and 9 Eastern. Sue Bird, Diana Taurasi back doing their own commentary on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. Brooke, you see some of the former McDonald's All-Americans we will watch in the Final Four Friday night. Oh, it is going to be an absolutely epic Final Four. I mean, the star power in the building alone between with the Gamecocks spring led, of course, by Aaliyah Boston, but they go so deep. We saw Ashlyn Watkins here last year winning the slam dunk contest, yep. by the way. Of course, Liz Kitley, Virginia Tech, Caitlin Clark at Iowa, Angel Reese, LSU. Flaugé Johnson, yes. who freestyled here at the McDonald's All-American Games, she? then became the SEC Freshman of the Year. And, and, and that was the last time you'd probably ever get a couple of bars out of Flaugé <laughs> without a hefty price tag, because she is a bona fide star, a Rockefeller artist. How exciting is it to see her balance both careers and, and do and be that, that mold for that next level player, of course, with NIL being a big part of today's game and world. You know, these these players, young ladies, young men are thinking about not only their game, but how to really capitalize on those businesses and those brands, but still stay true to themselves and play basketball. That's a lot to balance, and a lot of coaches are trying to deal with that. Well, two players from our game tonight will join Flaugé and oh. LSU as Malaysia <laughs> Full Wiley drains it from long range. You know you love to watch players who love to play the game. I remember last year watching how much fun Kiki Rice had, how much fun Flaugé had. And this is the same kind of vibe. Full Wiley, step back three, but it's the smile for me. It's the fun of the game. You play loose and fun like that, you're gonna do some great things. Full oh, Wiley again! Highlight after highlight Ooh. for the future Gamecock. Where'd that speed? That is just blow by your speed. All you're gonna see is a blur. Michaela Williams couldn't answer. Wiley wants it again. Yes, yeah, she does. Now she's got it. Give it to her. Give Off it to the her. the sidestep. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> A dozen for Full Wiley. Come on. Malaysia Full Wiley making her name known. And the East has crawled back to within a pair here late in the half. Well, you got to find the hot hand, a little hezzy. Oh, a little look back. There were so many moves in that package right there for Wiley, giving you just a taste of what's coming to Columbia next year. Staying in Columbia, I should say. <laughs> oh, Gamecock fans, y'all are getting something special. So Malaysia Full Wiley's handle on Instagram is Lay with the Butter. <laughs> yes. There's plenty of butter in Houston right now. Yeah, that's that's smooth, like butter. Take a look at South Carolina's recruiting class. Full Wiley and Johnson here tonight. Chloe Kitts already, already with the, the team, team and yeah. rolled early at South Carolina. Yeah, get some tick too. Great to see. Off the offensive board, Jada Williams there spins it, it in with a foul. Look, when you come in this game, five six, five seven, you gotta prove yourself. You gotta play bigger than your height. And that's something Jada Williams does and has always done. Have always loved watching her play in the summertime. And on the EYBL circuit over at the Peach Jam. She just brings it that intensity and joy. Back into the hands of Full Wiley. Come on oh, from hey! NBA range! She can't miss! Somebody been watching Caitlin Clark. Third triple of the night for Malaysia Full Wiley. Yes. Williams, though, at the <laughs> other end, right back at you. Come on, it's a two woman game right now. I want to see these two go at it. Get the ball back to Full Wiley. And wide smiles on both faces. 
Shades pass intercepted by Addie Brown. Ahead to Kamora Johnson. Williams is there for the follow. I gotta tell you too, watching Addie Brown play, she gives me Sedona Prince vibes. I don't know if you get that same I like essence it. of her. But a big, isn't quite as big as Sedona, of course. Oh, oh look like, out, not this time. Say. Oh my gosh. This crowd's gonna go nuts. A little pressure here from the East, and they got it back. Nice. Layla Reynolds, how about the up and under? Layla, Layla Reynolds, Reynolds, only the second ever Florida signee to play here in the McDonald's game. That was big time, and she's a player who used to do ballet and tap dance, so you know that footwork comes correct. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. now at the other end, Amanda Muse hey. with the same move. I'm gonna need you to muse out of the way so I can finish this shot, is what she said. Eight points from Muse. Reynolds on the attack and a foul against Michaela Williams. Now, Full Wiley, an excellent point guard with excellent range. I mean, if she's hitting it from the flame, you got to give this young lady a she's on fire, no? Great intensity, passion. Look at Williams. Behind the back, a little bump, a little fadeaway, a little, yeah, buddy. Ogden misses off the inbound. Foul called. 50 seconds to play in the half. I mean, Malaysia for a while, it's effortless. She makes it look that way. That means she spent hours making it look that way. Ogden, top 10 player in the nation, will head from Atlanta to Stanford. She told us a great story yesterday. Thanksgiving, she spends it in Cabo with her family. She's in the airport coming back. She looks across the way and says, is that Neko Ogumake? Stanford legend, former McDonald's All-American, by the way, is here tonight, Houston native. If that's not the universe yeah. speaking a message, I don't know what is. Ogden went up, introduced herself, got a picture with Neko. Addie Brown in and out. Muse with the putback. She's got 10 for the West. It is a UCLA to play for Coach Corey Close and loved Coach Close because she said she's strong yet empathetic and kind and a player's coach understands just what she's getting. There is another she player. is, like a gazelle running the floor. So a dozen for Muse, final 12 seconds of the half. Scott tied up. It is East Ball with the arrow, 10.1 to go in the half. Kayla Williams. Williams, the Morgan Wooten National Player of the Year, headed to LSU, 24 in the black, returns for Muse here. Reynolds gives it up. Scott. Johnson. Oh. And offensive foul is called. Talia Scott takes the charge at half court with two tenths. Now, Talia Scott taking the charge. You got to love that. Mike Neighbors <laughs> saying, yeah. She wanted to go to the SEC because she said it's the toughest league. 37 points a game, Talia Scott averaging. Now, this is not going to count with two tenths on the clock. But it's the West in front by six here in the McDonald's All-American game. Young stars are shining tonight, Brooke. Yeah, they have stepped it up. We're already looking at a half a century. We're going to get over the 100 mark? Hope so. 24 of the best girls high school basketball players in the country came to bring it tonight. They got that sauce. Lead marching bands in the country. It's the West up by six as we get ready for the start of the second half here in the McDonald's game. Ted Emmerich along with Brooke Weiss. You, you wonder sometimes, right, in all-star games, how seriously are the players going to take it? That is not an issue here tonight. Yeah, I, you knew it was serious from day one, starting at practice, starting at the scrimmage. It just continued on into the game tonight. These ladies came to play, to show up, to defend, to prove themselves as a McDonald's All-American. And Michaela Williams, player of the year, headed to LSU. Got things going. Really able to play off two feet, doing a fantastic job. Little spin cycle finish, just giving you the bag, showing you what's up for LSU next year and Malaysia Bull Wiley. I'm just gonna be quiet because you're gonna see the Gamecock 
women's basketball fans had it. They nailed it perfectly. Three highlight reel moments in like 30 seconds. She's going insane and having fun doing it. And Jada Williams also putting on a nice show. Arizona signee getting all the hostile plays in, reading the plays right, hitting from deep. She's got range, she's got style, she's got a lot of passion and energy to go along with her game. So much fun to watch these young ladies out here competing and just living it up, right? Like they know it's all about the hype as well, but they embrace it and they step into it. That's what today's game, a lot of players are all about. Jada Williams with nine for the West. Led by Coach Karen Whites, Malaysia Full Wiley, the top scorer in the game through a half, 15 for the future South Carolina Gamecock. Three after three, and from distance, two. Yeah, you think, Brooke, out of 370,000 high school basketball players in the nation. We're watching the 24th wow. best on the floor tonight. I might even go try the math on that, but it sounds like a real small percentage. Yes, but yes. What, what's really interesting for, for parents to understand of athletes, you know, you, you play all these different kind of sports, and I'm an advocate for that. Like, you see a lot of basketball players who have a soccer background. They know how to put that footwork in. Juju Watkins, she's got all the talent in the world to play probably any sport she wanted. But it's great because it gives you the versatility and, and the base work for a game like this. But parents, less than 2%, less than 1% of players make it from high school to college, and then less than 1% from college to the league. So you got to put it into perspective just how rare it is to be a McDonald's All-American. Pick and roll, Tessa Johnson finding Madison Booker for two. Booker's second basket, future Texas Longhorn. Yeah, to your point, Brooke, which is we check out the hoop scoop, every NBA and WNBA team has at least one active player who is an alum of the McDonald's game. When you think about, you know, I think back to, to the days with C. Vivian Stringer at Rutgers, there were times when she had six McDonald's All-Americans on the team. And it's great to kind of see, right, like a University of Florida signee and Layla Reynolds. And we talked about the the balance and what we're seeing eight to the F sec eight five here excuse me headed to the acc so the south is still making their mark as the top conferences in women's college basketball six to the pac 12 remember last year almost half of the players in this game were going to the pac 12 this yes. year's a little more spread out here is reynolds headed to the sec in florida got a foul call Goes against Brea Cunningham. Future Arizona Wildcat, 25 in the black for the West. Shade, future UConn Husky. Oh, tried the pocket pass. Cody chases it down. Tend to shoot. Reynolds trying to find Cody. Shade pulls the trigger. Loose ball scooped up by the West. KK Arnold who will join Shade at UConn, came up with it. How about the defense, Talia Scott, all over Juju Watkins. Had that speed, had the University of Arkansas trying to D up. She just told the ref, hey, Juju pushed off on me first. <laughs> Watch this defense, right? That's closeout speed right there. Mike Neighbors, really gonna love how she plays. She just, she loves defense and she wants to expand that part of her game. But she always talks about space and pace, something that Arkansas Razorbacks live by. Madison Booker misses the three. Shade hauls in the rebound for the East. Reynolds, short. Oh, Booker hits the deck along with Scott and out. Scott, the East. trying to snag that unofficial defensive MVP award. Watch the great ball handling there, and then Talia Scott 
so willing to take that contact and fall down. I mean, it's it's not easy to take a charge. Learning how to do that, to take that contact, to, to fall down without slamming your head on the ground, it is a skill. And if you can learn how to set people up defensively and take charges, it, you're so valuable to your team. Knocked out of bounds and a turnover here by the East. Now, Talia Scott has to grow defensively. She wants to be known as more than just a scorer. Everyone who ever watched her in high school knows she can do that. Number zero in the E, in the white. Addie Brown. Late challenge by Reynolds, but Addie Brown now has four. Headed to Iowa State. He's got to replace Ashley Jones, the all-time great. More than 3,000 points in her career. Sophia Bell headed to Oregon, lays it in for the West. Pac-12 is looking good for the next few years. Of course, we saw Kiki Rice here, at UCLA signee, his take over the McDonald's game and lead her team to a win. And the West is getting blessed with more talent. Sophia Bell headed to Oregon. Bounce pass, just make it simple, little underhand scoop. Yeah, Oregon missed the NCAA tournament for the first time in seven years this season. So Oregon looking to reload. Well, look who's in the house. This is to be expected. Of course, LeBron's son, LeBron James Jr., better known as Bronny, in our boys game. Still to come, 9 Eastern on ESPN. Of course, LeBron and Savannah and the family are courtside. 20 years after LeBron was the MVP in this game in Cleveland, Bronny takes the court next here in Houston. 9 Eastern on ESPN and the app. Well, that was exciting to see the slam dunk contest last night. Bronny jumping over Bryce. It was one of the attempts. Those guys coming through with so much creativity. I was a little bummed that none of the ladies wanted to participate. Not sure who can dunk out here. I'm probably a couple. But the guys that brought it last night, that was exciting. Now Sean Stewart headed to Duke, won the dunk contest. Ashlyn Shade from downtown headed to Connecticut. She's got seven. Now, can you imagine being a player out here right now and you look over and only the best player in the NBA yeah, is the, over there watching? The all-time no leading scorer in the league. No yeah, right. Oh, wait a second. LeBron pulled up, okay. Jada Williams draws the foul. You better step your game up, Ted. Step it up. Now, we all have to step our game <laughs> up because the king is in the house. Bryce, who you mentioned, right there to LeBron's right, who was a part of the festivities last night as Bronny jumped over Bryce for one of his dunks. Bryce at 6'5". And yeah, the, LeBron just returned from that foot injury yeah. over the weekend. And by the way, here it is. Oh, Bronny over elevation. Bryce. It, it's the power for me watching him jump and throw it down just like his dad. And, you know, we heard Paul Biancardi talk about he's elevated his game, his strength in just the last six months, the improvement that he's made. Well, it must be so much fun to, to be able to evaluate a player like that who, yeah, you, you've got a famous dad, you've got a legacy there, you, you want to step into it, but be your own guy and be your own man. He's starting to do that. And so it's exciting to see him put in the work and get the results. Lakers play tomorrow, off today. So LeBron is here at Toyota Center. Nine point lead for the West here in the girls game. Under seven to play in the third quarter. Talia Scott lost her balance. Courtney Ogden picked it up. Shade guarded by Bell. Finding Essence Cody inside. Cody headed to Alabama. She's got eight. I loved the pass, though, from Ashlyn Shade. You're going to go to UConn. You better be a skilled passer, be able to lead the break. Here Here's we go again. another pass to Cody from Shade for two more. Gina Oriema says, I love that you can't fit Ashlyn Shade into a box. That's she right. is just a good old school basketball player. And she's going to make you better. And, and that's a better type of shot. My goodness. When Kayla Williams is continuing to impress. 
But yeah, Ashley Shade is that player. She's not going to jump out at you and just say, like, hey, I'm going to pick her out of the lineup. And then when she gets in the game, you just start to see her go to work. You know, Mel Thomas was a player like that for UConn way back in the day. Just so strong, powerful, could give you everything. Her vision is there. And then look, the fast break, the placement. She makes that pass look easy. I promise you, folks, that is not easy. Someone on the run, that's a QB. You know, you, you credit quarterbacks for their ability to, to place the ball right in the perfect place. That's what Shade can do for you. Scott's at the line for the East. So Shade helped her high school in Noblesville, Indiana, to a state championship last year. Game was on regional TV. Tyrese Halliburton, the all-star from the Pacers, tweeted about Ashlyn Shade mm. that night. He said, Ashlyn Shade is nice. Shade told us yesterday, I was just scrolling through my phone on the bus, like, wait a second, Tyrese <laughs> Halliburton tweeted about me? Hold on, that's a big time blue check. What's going on? Hughes, nice kick out. Sophia Bell couldn't hit. Shade with the rebound for the East. And Shade with that athleticism, ability to jump. A powerful rebounder as well. I mean, she just is in the right place, right? Clapping her hands, give me the ball. I'm going to make something happen. Shade over the Morgan oh! Wade, National Player of the Year, Michaela Whoa! Williams. Shade right in her eye. But Ted, it was the clap, clap, clap. Give me that ball. I want to show you my range. Jada Williams. Two point game midway through the third. Scott the step back. Got her own miss. Cody, the post, way off. Reynolds is fouled. And so Layla Reynolds headed to Florida on her way to the line. Shade, little step back, give her a little room. Gonna make you pay, great rotation on that. Three for Shade. Small businesses are what turn a town into a community. They're invested here, and so are we. We're Spectrum Business, your local business internet, TV, phone, and mobile provider. You've seen us around. We live and work here, too. So when it comes to keeping small businesses connected, our network is the backbone they can count on. We're committed to this community and the small businesses that keep it going. We're Spectrum Business. When you have Spectrum Mobile, your mobile and Wi-Fi combine for a seamless, reliable connection in and out of the home. Get one line of unlimited for $29.99 and your next line free with Spectrum Mobile. How about this lineup starting Thursday, opening day, White Sox and the defending champion Astros. Women's Final Four begins Friday night, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific with LSU, Virginia Tech, followed by Iowa, South Carolina. The championship game Sunday afternoon on ABC and our first Sunday night baseball game of the season featuring the Phillies and the Rangers. Ted Emmerich, Brooke Weisbrod, our entire crew, the 20th McDonald's All-American Girls game here in Houston at Toyota Center, home of the Rockets. The East has battled back here, down by 10, within two now, and they've got Layla Reynolds at the line. I'd you know, love to see that promo. Dallas, of course, just a couple of hours from here. And hopefully some of these young ladies will be headed over there. I'm going to try to make it over myself. Got to catch that action in person, right? That semifinal matchup is just, it's its epic. The ratings are skyrocketing. I heard the ticket prices are multi times more than the men's prices. I don't know the wow. math again, but you got to pay some cash if you want to go watch the women's final four in Dallas. The interest just continues to rise, and for That's good reason, as the women's game continues to evolve, and we're seeing the next generation here tonight. Well, it's tied at 62. Right, you, you invest, you give them an opportunity, you promote it, 
And these legs bring it. The talent speaks for themselves. They just need a camera, a platform, and an opportunity. Oh, Aaliyah Del Rosario at 6'6 six, six for three. The East is on top. Just so cool about it, too. Like, yeah, you all seen this before. You're going to see it again. Del Rosario headed to LSU. Now trying to defend Brea Cunningham. Headed to Arizona. Cunningham for two. Good job by Cunningham. Bodying up against... Good defense. Okay. Look who's back on the floor. <laughs> oh, it's a rare brick from Malaysia Full Wiley tonight. Remember, she had 15 heat check, in the though. first half. Got to give her heat check. Got to take that shot. Juju Watkins, the number one player yep. in the country, yep. right down the chute. <laughs> Hannah Hidalgo, number one point guard in the nation, three in the white. Feed Del Rosario against Cunningham. These are two of the best posts in the nation. Off the screen, Hidalgo! That's the right read. Lays it in. Good job. We saw the defense was going to cheat and try to get ahead of the screen, so she went baseline. Watkins fouled by Full Wiley. What have we said about the evolution of the women's game? <laughs> How about Aaliyah Del Rosario? Yeah, I mean, it is hard to find a big anymore that doesn't shoot threes or doesn't want to shoot threes. And Juju, the response in front of the king. Watkins with LeBron in the front row here. Of course, Watkins plays at Sierra Canyon School, just like Bronny. Off the steal, full Wiley. Was in too deep. Sahara Williams pulls it in for the West. Hidalgo with the deflection and the steal Ooh, for the East. Pass. To Jaden Donovan, what a dime by Hidalgo. Yeah, I mean, that had some spin and some angle on it. We got the benefit of watching it right in front of our broadcast table here. Watkins taking Emma Risch off the bounce, and she's fouled. How great is this a two-point game? I mean, we knew this was going to be competitive. Here's the steal. Hidalgo getting it right in front of where we're sitting. Boom. Perfect. Donovan waits for it. Hang time bucket. It's like skipping a stone on a lake. <laughs> the double bounce That's pass right. to Donovan. Yeah, you got to throw it at that kind of side angle, yes. sidearm. Yes. So Watkins at the line. She's into double figures now with 10 as a chance to tie the score. Sue Phillips coached her with USA Basketball over the summer. Phillips said Juju Watkins plays, she scores like she's a two guard, she passes like she's a point guard, and she rebounds like a power forward. Yeah, I mean, you have to have all the skills again, but, but coaches look at, hey, guards, can you rebound? Hey, post, can you shoot threes? Terrific. Rish, third chance for the East, and Full Wiley can't get it to go. But the West can't clear it here. Nice pass inside. And Del Rosario's fouled. So three offensive rebounds there for the East. Yeah, and Del Rosario seems to be in the right place at the right time. I love a player who can move well without the basketball, and that's what I see when I watch her game. Aaliyah Del Rosario, part of that number one recruiting class, going to LSU, born in Texas. Her family is from the Dominican Republic. She actually grew up there before moving back to the United States and finished up high school at the Webb School in Tennessee. And, and I have a feeling at that fun fact, see down there, loves poetry. Perhaps her and Flage will spend some time rooming together on the bus together in the plane. We're, we're going to see some magic come out of that. I have no doubt. Del Rosario, a few riding credits coming her way, maybe? <laughs> Got to talk to Rockefeller about that. Wait, 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 wait. Hidalgo the steal, numbers for the East. The drop off to Donovan. Two point lead for the East, nearing the two minute mark here in the third. Sahara Williams rejected by Del Rosario. West got it back. Juju Watkins. Another offensive board. Brea Cunningham. And a tie up. East ball. It is intense from the jump in this one. Still a two-point game. Boy, there's a lot of pride on the line. Understanding Hate, or Hidalgo, I should say, trying to make herself known as perhaps the best passer in this game, giving some no look. Hidalgo and Donovan helped the U.S. to gold at the Under-17 World Cup last summer. And 
teammates this week at McDonald's. Hidalgo working inside, and she draws the foul. There must be something in, in this recipe for Notre Dame recruiting to find a player who can just see angles that none of us can see. Because that's what I watch when I see Olivia Miles. She sees passes two and three points ahead. That's what Neil Ivey did. That's what Skylar Diggins did. I mean, you could look at the great point guards of all time in Notre Dame, and she could be next. Hidalgo played for her dad, Orlando, at Paul VI in New Jersey. Hidalgo says that she started to invest more time into her game after her sophomore year. She saw all the great players, whether at Notre Dame or elsewhere, college level, what it takes to be the best. And that's when she started to stay after practice for an extra half hour, hour yep. of shooting and handling and all of that. You're not going to get to be the best by staying in the gym one afternoon for six hours playing open gym. Where it happens is the 45 minutes of focused practice you do before the game. Hey, I want to get better at three. All right, go make 300 threes every day for two months and then see the result. It's the chipping away, right? 1% better every day. And Sadalgo gets some coaching. And Hidalgo with her coach from the East this week, Kathy Ritchie Walton from Southwest Cab High School. What a resume, over 23 years at Southwest Cab. Five state titles to her credit. Williams couldn't hit at the line. Four point lead for the East, waning stages of the third. Remember the boys' game still to come, 9 Eastern on ESPN. Hidalgo, way short. Let's go, Jada. Oh, I was waiting for the three. Instead, finding Kamora Johnson, who couldn't put it in. And Marish, like Hidalgo, headed to Notre Dame. Both on the floor here. Inside, Del Rosario against Muse. Too easy. The move was quick, powerful, explosive, but you know what stood out to me? When she caught that ball, I could hear her slap it and grab it so the little guards can't get in there and swipe at it. Michaela Williams, yep. bullseye, the Morgan Wooten National Player of the Year. Williams and Del Rosario will be teammates next year at LSU on opposite sides here tonight. Watch the post up in the block. Amanda Muse trying to stay in front of her. And you're going to get called for that foul. Let's go back and watch the bucket by Williams. Kayla Williams, 6-1, plays the guard spot. Nothing casual, just, you know, a little dribble behind my back there, pull up for a three. And there must be something, too, in the works at LSU to, in the recruiting process, especially with Kim Malky, but Baton Rouge and that flair, that, just that grandeur of how it is down there at Baton Rouge. You got to have that uh, theater to go along with your game, right? Yeah, you can play, but you got a little bit extra, and that is welcomed in Baton Rouge. It's not just the feather jacket <laughs> that's luring players to Baton Rouge right now. Foul on the perimeter. Oh, and Kamora Johnson of the West, and more free throws for the East with 30 seconds to play in the quarter. Hidalgo at the line. We should say there is one player out because of injury tonight, and that is Zoe Brooks, who's headed to NC State. Another point guard, top 10 player in the nation, unavailable for the East tonight because of the foot. Yeah, let's show Zoe some love at 5'8 point guard, 23 points a game. And hit the game winner to win her state title. She said, I shocked myself. And oh, how about, by the way, she had an injured foot. And how long did she rest before that game? Didn't play, what, the final week? That's what she told us. She didn't think she'd be able to go. There's Zoe right there. Again, we'll head from New Jersey to NC State. And she beat Hannah Hidalgo's team for that state title in New Jersey as Hidalgo steps right back to the line. No, perhaps Hidalgo may be feeling a little uh, away, a particular type of way, and so wants to show out in this all-star game and is doing the most it's awesome to watch her and just her flares you see 13 points already a couple of great passes it's all makes it a six-point lead for the east shot clock is dark 
Not that that really matters in this game with all this talent. They're putting <laughs> yeah, it up quick. Don't worry about the Kayla Williams, too strong. Muse with the follow. She has made an impact tonight. Okay, there's some water polo for you right there. Part of the training in water polo is swimming and holding a chair above your head. Good luck with that. Yeah, in the water. In the water. And Jeez. they start with 60 laps to warm up. You're not going to find a better conditioned athlete than that. You know, they say, you know, my warm up is your workout. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, 60 laps, uh uh. That is the workout <laughs> if we even get to 60. Time out here with seven and a half seconds to go in the third. Karen White's calling the timeout for the West. But remember, had that 10 point lead in the East up by four here. Brooke, you mentioned Hannah Hidalgo for the East, number one point guard in the nation, and she has shined tonight. Yeah, well, it's easy to see why. I mean, and you love her competitiveness, right? I mean, that's what Neil Ivey and I'm sure his staff would love to see. Like, hit the three, let's go. It ain't enough. Getting in the lane, step back, hit you with another jump shot. There's the mid range to go along with the three. Then you got her interior presence. She can hit the inside shot against the big. Showing love to the pass as well. She is a true team player. Top five overall recruit in the class of 2023. Play for Neil Ivey. Final seconds of the quarter, and the East with the steal. Jaden Donovan going to Duke. Hidalgo, oh! At the buzzer! Unlimited range for Hidalgo. <laughs> That shot spoke for itself, didn't it? I mean, it felt good at the beginning. Jaden Donovan showing her some love. Hannah Hidalgo, yes, number one point guard in the class. Time running out. I think Arike Agumbawale may hit a shot or two like that, maybe from that spot or close to it. When you have Spectrum Mobile, your mobile and Wi-Fi combine to give you a seamless connection. So you can enjoy a reliable experience in and out of the home. Get one line of unlimited for $29.99 and your next line free with Spectrum Mobile. We cannot wait for the women's final four in Dallas. Friday night, LSU Virginia Tech getting it started at 7 Eastern. Iowa and undefeated and defending national champion South Carolina to follow. Both games also on ESPN Plus. Super Diana Taurasi on ESPN2. You see Houston native Neka Ogumake from Stanford. Four final fours in her career. And checking out the action here from the future stars of the college and the Delta. WNBA here as we start the fourth quarter of the McDonald's All-American Girls game. Ted Emmerich with Weiss Road Juju with you. Watkins. And Juju Watkins, the number one player in the country, brings the West to within five. Juju gets better as the game goes on. You know, how much fun was it last night to see Neka and Chinea Gumake as our celebrity judges for the slam dunk contest? That's not an easy spot to sit in. I, I, I don't envy that at all. Yeah. Get a lot of criticism, all the eyes over there. Wait to see what you're going to throw up, 8, 9, 10. They were disagreeing the whole night, yes. Neca and Chanae. As they should. you got to have that healthy discourse. Of course, Chanae and Neca, icons at Stanford. Here is Hannah Hidalgo, who's had an iconic night, 17 points. Turns it over here, trying to find Aliyah Del Rosario. Juju Watkins losing her balance. Foul called against the East. A little contact from Hidalgo, trying to read that spin move and get the spin, and Juju Watkins reading that as well. You see Hidalgo going for the steal there, and then Juju getting tripped up. 
Watkins headed to USC inside. Brea Cunningham, another whistle here. And another foul on the East. It's against Del Rosario. One of the best post players in the nation. Going to LSU. Watkins defended by Ashlyn Shea, future UConn Husky. Now Talia Scott on the switch. Booker. Nice extra feed to Brea Cunningham for the bucket. And a foul against KK Arnold on the West. Good high low. We'll take another look at this one. And Brea Cunningham getting in position, just making herself known and big. Dalgo leads all scorers with 17. Malaysia full Wiley with 15 for the East. Sahara Williams trying to rip it away from Essence Cody, but the arrow points this end of the floor. That drill at Oklahoma where they battle for the ball down low, that is exactly what Sahara Williams is gonna get with Coach Baracek. KK Arnold absorbing the contact, and she still puts it home. She can tie it from the line. KK Arnold's jersey is hanging in the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, so I'm just going to leave that there. The UConn signee, yeah, give me that and one. Her coach at Germantown High School in Wisconsin, Matt Stuve, says even if KK Arnold was an awful basketball player, I would still want her on my team. She is such a positive force. Well, Wiley dribbled it along the sideline. A turnover by the East. So all square at 81 early in the fourth quarter. Brooke, the skill level has been off the charts. Yeah, tonight. we've seen everything, right? It handles, passing, rebounding, extra effort, but the deep threes have really put the exclamation point on the night. The competitive fire has been there as well. Watkins fouled. Will it be three free throws here? It looked like she was just beyond the arc. And it will be. It's the way that players can handle pressure and space and still create shots. That's what Juju Watkins can do. You give her the ball and it does not matter the, the pressure you put on her, the situation. She's going to be able to make something happen. You know, Carolyn Peck talks about a break a play to make a play. That's what you're getting with Juju Watkins. Anytime the offense goes awry, just give her the ball. Her Instagram handle is at Juju B Ballin. That, that's exactly what she's doing tonight. Yeah, Juju B Ballin. Pretty much all the time. She says, I want to be like LeBron or Candace. I want to be one of the greats. And again, LeBron is in the house. Of course, we'll see his son, Bronny, in the boys game coming up 9 Eastern on ESPN. The West in front. Full Wiley against Watkins, adding to her highlight reel. The change gear, the speed. I remember looking at Zaya Cook, and, and they compared her to a very fast race car. That's how she liked to com compare herself. <laughs> Full Wiley's in that same mold. My goodness. I mean, her ability to stop, change direction, understand pace. It's not about speed. It's about being able to use it when you need it. Full Wiley's first bucket here in the second half. That is just an incredible move. I mean, picks it up before the defense can get it. Got that hunger about her, too. You just see it in her eyes. She loves this game. Dawn Staley offered Malaysia Full Wiley when she was in the seventh grade. Watkins is back at the line here for the West. Staley calls Full Wiley, quote, a generational yeah, talent. I could see that. I, I thought you were going to say seven years old, because I yeah. also believe that <laughs> the way that she's playing today. Not that young. But it's coming. Close. There's going to be a player. Maybe. <laughs> I, the eight. I was startled. There were a lot of players who said, yeah, I got my first offer seventh grade, sixth grade. That happens that now. That is unbelievable. Right? I mean, Michaela Williams committed to softball in eighth grade before yeah. she even got to high school. Yep.
Riley Nelson, she'll stay home to play for the Maryland Terrapins. And Amanda Muse takes it away for the West. Watkins picks it up. Got past Rish, met by Cody, and another foul. Juju Watkins living at the free throw line here in the fourth. You know, and you watch Juju Watkins play, and she, she's she got so many different talents, right? And she always looks like, hey, I wanted more out of that play. Like, you see it in her face, right? It's a little bit of like, okay, I'm going to keep it cool, calm, and collected, but I know how hungry I am and wanted to finish that shot. It's a sign of a great player who always just wants a little bit more. Hey, you saw Juju Watkins at Hoop Hall in Springfield, Massachusetts back in January. As you have seen her then, here tonight, what impresses you the most about her game? Uh, that she doesn't get rattled. That she knows her talent, she, she trusts her work ethic, the time that she's put into it. And so it's gonna come. And she doesn't force the hand. Skill-wise, it's hard to compare her to anybody else. Like I said, I mean, I see elements of Maya Moore, elements of Diamond and Shield. She said she wants to uh, emulate her game after Candace Parker. You can definitely see that, too. Juju Watkins takes the seat. Michaela Williams, the number two player in the nation, right behind her with a steal. And Williams flips it in with a foul. Kayla Williams getting a piece of it, leading the break, head up, doesn't see the option. She's like, that's all right, I can finish, and I can finish with my left hand. Capping off the three-point play, Williams with 15. Future LSU Tiger. Got to be feeling good if you're Kim Mulkey right now. Your team's in the final four. And you're watching Michaela Williams and Aaliyah Del Rosario do their thing tonight. Scott off the mark. Nelson, the hustle play, loose ball, picked up by Shade. Wish for three. Hidalgo back in for the East. The number one point guard in the nation. Hidalgo has six steals tonight. The record for the McDonald's game is eight, set by Monica Wright, 2006. Cheetah Williams with the triple. Hidalgo wasn't stealing that. Possession's becoming a little more critical here for the East. They're gonna have to figure it out in terms of getting it, the shot selection that they want. Can't just settle for threes right now. It's not about the All-Star game. It's about winning this game. Oh, Williams, nice oh. pass. Brown rejected, but a foul. Well, that will certainly help, you know, a little defense, but you got to do it without fouling. In the East, all of a sudden, looking at a deficit here. Can they overcome it? Here's Jada. Jada Williams with a great spin move in three. You're going to see that a bunch. <laughs> Skip to Malou, I'm not sure what to call that celebration. She's got a vibe and feel it. Whatever she wants to Whatever call it. Whatever she wants. Time out for the East here with 619 remaining in the McDonald's All-American Girls game. West up by nine. Jada Williams has her own YouTube reality series. She's got more than one million followers across Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And she became the first high school girls basketball player to sign an NIL deal out in San Diego. But we talked with her last night. Yeah, she is still so grounded. She understands that, hey, there's no replacement for work ethic. I have a brand, but my brand is my game. game. Yes, and don't forget that, right? It, it's great to to get those offers and to get that interest. You get that interest because you can play basketball and because you got that great personality. Those two are gonna have a great time at Arizona. And so, I, you know, I love I love the concept of, of the NIL deal, of these players being able to, you know, get the value of what they're putting, the work they're putting in. They should be able to realize that value. And I can only imagine how difficult it is as a teenager to handle that and to handle it with professionalism. Get your accountant. Get your lawyer, get that money right, and then go to work. Addie Brown is headed to Iowa State with the free throws lead back to double digits for the West. 
Williams checking Hidalgo here. Two of the best point guards in the nation. Off the screen from Del Rosario. Hidalgo lost it. A steal by Sophia Bell. How about Donovan with the speed? Nelson catch and shoot. Oh, Amanda Muse with her length affected that. Williams off the feed from Michaela Williams. Williams to Williams. Gritty. It's pure <laughs> plus the gritty. <laughs> Largest lead of the night for it's, the West. The shot is so pretty, and you just wait to see what she's got for a reaction. Del Rosario is fouled. Another highlight reel from Jada Williams. Terrific cross court pass with some pace. That's what you were doing today, Ted, yes. after you hit that shot in the gym. Yes. It's, it was called the Teddy, though, not the Gritty. Oh, stop. Yeah, me and Ronald McDonald before the game. <laughs> and Grimace, too. Oh, I got a little starstruck, of course, seeing Ronald, but like Grimace was the guy, like yes, growing up. Yes. You know, he was a guy that didn't really speak a whole lot. Yeah. But the Grimace Gritty made yep. its way out last night at the Slam Dunk Contest. Saw yes. that. Where's the Hamburglar? Probably robbing some McDonald's of some burgers right now. I'm not sure. He's got to go get his, his burger on. Did he get locked up yet? <laughs> yeah, may, right. Maybe that's where he is. Ted. <laughs> You're right. Oh, uh, Williams fouled. Hidalgo and Donovan there defensively for the East. And the fouls against Donovan, her second. Again, you gotta love the competitiveness in this game, and we usually see it more in the girls' game than we do in the boys, at least until you get to the end of the game and it's tight, then they care, much like the NBA All-Star game. But the girls, they're going at it from the start. Yeah, it, it's been a terrific battle all night long. I mean, the game's not gotten out of hand. This is the biggest lead so far for the West tonight. And they extended it in the fourth quarter. These players, they, they don't look at it just an individual All-Star game. They're, they're trying to rep their team. The West by a dozen. Del Rosario and Booker jostling inside. Now, and a foul on Booker. Smart move by the East here, right? Stop the clock, get yep. in line, hit a couple shots. Now both teams are over the limit here in the fourth. Well, Wiley from the corner, and Addie Brown hauls it in for the West. Jada Williams has been sensational tonight. Future Arizona Wildcat. Williams lets it fly again. It's a brick. It's all go the other way. The top ranked point guard in this class. Defended by Williams. Oh, now Michaela Williams against Malaysia for Wiley. They're going to go at it in the SEC next year. Well, Wiley missed everything, and the rebound for the West. Kayla Williams tried to save it, a foul called, I believe against Booker here as Hidalgo came up with it. We've got a timeout. Does the East have something left here? 4.23 to go. Back to the gritty, Brooke. Jada Williams, not many better at knowing how to do it with some style. Dave and Nicole use Verizon for their mobile service. Kevin and Ashley have Spectrum Mobile. Both couples have two lines and both get unlimited data and nationwide 5G. What's the difference? With Verizon, Dave and Nicole pay a lot more. It's too much. Way too much. Plus taxes. And fees. With Spectrum, Kevin and Ashley get one unlimited mobile line for $29.99 and their next line free. All with no added taxes and no hidden fees. Start saving today. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash unbeatable, a Spectrum store, or call 844-805-2929 today. Kevin and Ashley are saving hundreds of dollars. It's, it's true. true. And with Spectrum Mobile, they get reliable coast-to-coast -coast service with the speed they need to stream and connect in more places. 
So, Dave and Nicole, what do you think? We're, We're switching, switching to, to Spectrum. Spectrum. Switch to Spectrum Mobile and get one unlimited line for $29.99 and get your next line free. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash unbeatable, a Spectrum store, or call 844-805-2929 today. The 2023 McDonald's All-American Girls Game is presented by the McDonald's All-American Games, where hype becomes legacy. It really does start here for so many of the greats and the future greats, like Kiki Rice, co-MVP a year ago in Chicago, who will end up with the MVP tonight here in Houston. Ted Emmerich, Brooke Weisbrod, our entire crew. It's the West in black, leading by 12, 423 left. Hannah Hidalgo headed to Notre Dame, number one point guard in the class at the line for the East. Hidalgo has been phenomenal, 18 points and seven steals. So the deficit is 10. Yeah, the East, still plenty of time to come back. Juju Watkins back on the floor. Number one player in the country going to USC. Offline. Oh, about the pass oh, by Adolfo Juju. Watkins playing free safety. And Watkins pass is intercepted by Hidalgo. Yeah, Hidalgo read that one. She has tied the McDonald's All-American game record with her eighth steal, matching Monica Wright in 2006. Hannah Hidalgo, she reads your eyes, doesn't she? And that's great anticipation on defense. Usually you see that on offense. And Juju also with a terrific steal defensive back style. Underneath for Del Rosario, and you see everyone crowding around the 6-6 post. Yeah. Oh, good luck. She's got so much strength. You're going to have to bring all your tools. Extra pass. Full, Full Wiley, Wiley step back. back, almost banked it in. How about the hustle, though? Full Wiley couldn't follow it, though. Numbers for the West. Arnold to Sahara Williams, headed to OU. Rejected by Jaden Donovan. And a foul against the West. How important is defense in this game? You gotta play through it. Jaden Donovan, great timing on her block shot. She's got terrific length, right? But to understand timing of when to get that and to do it without fouling is such an art. You ask Jaden Donovan, what are you as a player? I'm a defender. I'm one of the best defenders in the country, she says. She's showing that tonight. Well, right after the girls game concludes, 9 Eastern on ESPN, the McDonald's All-American Boys game from right here in Houston, also available on the app. The Legacy Game, Bronny James, DJ Wagner, the first third generation McDonald's All-American, Andre Stojakovic, the son of Peja, among others, will take the floor. K.K. Arnold going to UConn. Oh, nice slip by Muse, and she banks it home. Great read by Muse. Oh, when you can read the screen and roll, understand how to slip it, I mean, before you even get to college, Ted, that's such a great asset. Hidalgo catch and shoot. Give it to her. It's a three. Three minutes to go. The East isn't oh, out of it baby. yet. We got a seven-point game and, and a steal. steal by Emma Rich. Numbers Hidalgo for the guy. East. No look. No look. No look. To Layla Reynolds. That ain't lucky. That ain't Irish. That's just good. Reynolds headed to Florida. He's dialing up the pressure here. Ooh. Arnold splitting the defense for two. Oh, 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 oh. And the Sell West it. has cracked the century mark. Hidalgo knifing through herself for two more. This is getting fun now. Hidalgo with 24. I love this game because it, it excites me for the future. The game is growing so much. The ratings are there. The fans are showing up and showing out. Social media is just blazing. Women's basketball highlights the players and the stories. Look at that bullet pass right there. And then the no look, little shovel.
Just an awesome, awesome finish. And KK <laughs> selling the pass and finishing circus shot style. So a timeout for the East here. 2.16 to go. Remember, the East was down double figures on multiple occasions here in the second half, but they are not ready to go to bed here. They are not. But what's interesting, though, look, East only got one timeout left, so you really got to use it well. If you get stuck and you have to do it, okay. But every possession matters, especially in a game like this, where the pride is on the line. And you're down. Gotta make sure you're getting the shot exactly what you want. And for the West, got to hold court, but you can't. Play not to lose, you gotta play to win. And that's what la these ladies are out here to do. LeBron James, 20 years and two days after he was the MVP of the McDonald's game, in Cleveland no less, is courtside here in Houston. Of course, Bronny, LeBron James Jr. still to come in our boys game. Jada Williams is at the line for the West. Oh, missed them both, but Muse with the rebound. Let's see if they double off the screen. Yep. Good job by Williams to step through, get it over to Juju Watkins to create some space. And the number one player in the country has been so crafty, especially in the second half. And she draws another foul. And see, that's what I mean. Look, she's shaking her head. She's disappointed that she did not finish that and one. Such a strong player. And that's where we talked about, hey, where do you want your game to get better? Take in guards off the bounce in that sense. Jaden Donovan, of course, a forward there, but could play guard. And Juju Watkins, that big frame, so strong, but so smooth. Watkins led her high school, Sierra Canyon, to a 31 and one record this season. She drills two more. And it's a seven point lead. Two minutes to play here in Houston. Hannah Hidalgo is one point away from tying the McDonald's game Whoa. record. Oh, air mailed it to <laughs> Layla Reynolds, a turnover. Somebody been hitting that weight room. The record for points in the girls game, Brooke. Of course, Sabrina Unescu, 25 in 2016. Madison Booker going to Texas from the mid-range. Big shot here. The lead is nine. On the cut, it spins out for Jaden Donovan. But Donovan headed to Duke. Will be at the line. Watch the backdoor cut, the terrific feed, little hang time. <laughs> Look at Juju Watkins looking at the ball like, uh, fall out for me. Jaden Donovan is going to be a great addition to Duke and Carol Lawson's squad. You, you said she led with defense, right? I'm telling you how for real that Duke defense is. Scary good. Seven point game, 90 seconds to go. Pressure from the East. Nice ball movement by the West. Booker, Ooh. step back, this is a long two. And Donovan with the rebound. No time to waste, gotta get right at the rim. Good defense by the West. Donovan though, stuck with it. Hit the deck to save it. Hidalgo. Could have set the McDonald's game scoring record right there. And it still belongs to the East with 104 remaining. So a timeout for the West here. Both teams with one timeout remaining. They've been battling from the jump. Here we are, both teams closing in on 100. The West already there. This has been terrific action from the very start. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it just gets me so excited for the future of this game. Every year, the class just gets better. And talking, you know, with the McDonald's folks, Joe Wooten, as you remember, or as you mentioned earlier, talked about how great this class is. And, and Class E, right? You have terrific basketball players, but better young ladies. And ladies who love to visit the Ronald McDonald House charity. That's been their favorite part of the night. Juju Watkins getting it done. Jada Williams getting it done as well. Two of the biggest social media stars in the young game showing out. It's not about the hype. It's about the basketball. And they are proving themselves worthy of all that hype tonight.
tonight. Showing up, coming through with some points and terrific highlights. Del Rosario missed off the inbound. Here's Michaela Williams, the Morgan Wooten National Player of the Year. Oh, she lost it out of bounds. So East ball with 54 seconds. Booker the, returns as Michaela Williams heads out. I think for the East, you know, if you've got a quick two, go for it. Otherwise, you hit some threes. Like, the fans are here. They want to see some highlights. They've been bringing them all night long. Can the East have one more little push here? Under a minute to go. Remember the boys game coming up in about a half hour on ESPN. And don't go the spin. Banker doesn't go. Again, can't tie the record. And Jaden Donovan there to follow for the East. Down by five. Booker gives it up. Ahead to Addie Brown, going to Iowa State. Good job by the West, handling the composure of the press of the East. Williams navigates. Oh, and Juju Watkins makes the smart play. Great. Hey, come foul me if you want. Give me the assist, Juju. Great. He was blocked Pass. at the rim by Rich, but a foul. I love that play. And that's, that's what makes Juju Watkins the number one player, right? She could have taken that three, but she said, hold up. Let's make sure we get this win, get the shot clock running down so I can make a good decision. Splits the defense. Splits the defense again. <laughs> Almost gets the assist. And finding Amanda Muse, their teammates tonight, they will be rivals starting next year. Watkins heading to USC, Muse to UCLA. And it's a seven-point lead for the West with 15 seconds left. Karen White's the coach for the West, says no fouls, no fouls from the sideline. Hidalgo off the mark, but heading to the free throw line with 11 seconds. He's down by seven. Hidalgo can break the McDonald's girls scoring record from the stripe here. She can tie it with one of these and break it with both. Sabrina Ionescu at 25 in this game in 2016. Hidalgo sitting on 24. So the East in triple digits as well. This is the highest scoring McDonald's All-American girls game ever. And Hidalgo has set the scoring record. 26 for Hidalgo. Watkins looking to cap it with a triple. The number one player in the nation. Putting the exclamation point on the victory for the West. 110 to 102. A phenomenal showcase for the future stars of the women's game. They came to play. They made a name for themselves, and they are leaving their legacy. Starting here on the floor, McDonald's All-Americans, future Division I All-Stars, and perhaps WNBA players. You see it here first, folks. Your first introduction to the youth and the future of women's basketball is in great hands. It is bright, to say the least. The West wins it here in Houston, 110 to 102. For Brooke Weisbrod and our entire crew, this is Ted Emmerich saying so long for now. How about that? The hug between <laughs> Jada Williams and LeBron. Why we'll not? see LeBron's son, Bronny, next. 9 Eastern, ESPN, the McDonald's boys game.